with Gay Alex Receiver Teacher. Today we're talking what it means and how to re-stem your routes, all right, and straighten up, make everything look like a fade before your breaks. Before we get into that though, make sure you go to receiverteacher.com if you haven't already. Fill out your email in our contact form to gain access to our free two-week training program. The goal of the program is to erase all bad habits from your route running and establish a new foundation of the proper route running fundamentals. So again, if you haven't done that, go to receiverteacher.com, fill out your email, it'll be sent to you as it's ready. Now back to the video, all right? It's very important that you re-stem your routes, all right? Never give an indicator early that you're about to break. You'll see Thielen right here, he gives a nice little dive release off the line and he strains it up. And right here, you'll see he starts coming with choppy steps, right? Just watch his feet. And watch how he starts angling his upper body, all right, to the outside. And now the DB can just get to his back hip uh, very easily because he knows the break is coming. All right, now this is going to be a contested catch when it didn't have to be. This is an example of Kay Johnson at the Senior Bowl. Instead of, you know, bleeding into his route early right here, instead of just drifting, all right, turning his upper body, starting to look that way early, he's going to slam his foot on the ground. Boom. All right, makes the DB fall using a peak technique, all right, looking back at the ball. All right, this is a perfect example of re-stemming, all right? All right, if you're running an out right here and you win outside, all right, this is perfect for you, all right? But against good DBs, if you just start going there right now, all right, he's going to be in your back hip. It's way too easy for him, all right? And plus, the QB is not ready to throw you the ball, all right? Let's say it's a three, five-step drop, all right? Right here, he's not ready to throw you the ball. So you have to push your depth, all right, and make sure you're on time, all right? Not early, not late, but right on time. All right, same thing right here is Jordan Palmer, shout out Canada. Um, and he's going to re-stem vertical, all right, before the break. Again, gives a peak technique, and he's selling vertical, all right? The key right here is selling with speed, all right? Now, the DB does trip on his foot right here, um, but still, this is a great example of, you know, pushing vertical, pushing vertical, and then boom, slam it out. This is a clip of me I practiced the other day, all right, same thing. Boom, I use a blade technique right here to get by him. And then right here, I have a, t I have a 10 to 12-yard out. I could just go to the out right now. But watch how I re-stem vertical, all right? Make the DB flip his hips upfield. See that? So he starts to chase me upfield, all right? Peak technique, I look at, look for the ball, all right? Now he's in chase mode. And that's when you slam it, boom, wide open, all right? So maximize separation. Don't bleed into your routes early. Make sure you re-stem, step on his toes, and then finish flat to downhill. My video, How to Run Outs vs. Outside Leverage, I talk about straightening up, giving a move inside, all right? You want to threaten him inside and straighten up. You realize how he's running in a straight line right here? If he just goes like this the entire time, all right, that's way too easy. He sees that coming from a mile away. So instead, get his hips turning. Make him un uncomfortable. Don't just let him stay in his pedal. You see how right here he's comfortable, comfortable? Now look how he's going to straighten up and threaten him to the inside. What does that do? Opens his hips to the inside. All right, now when he slams it, all right, he comes out of the break. All right, now he's got a transition. And there's a bunch of separation. Another thing I like about this route, right when he gets out of the break, all right, he continues to create separation away from the DB, all right, by finishing flat to downhill, all right, continue to separate. If you get right here and you start drifting, all right, if you start drifting upfield early, now he can undercut you, all right, it's an easier path to the ball, all right, so never drift, always finish flat to downhill. And just to recap, never shorten your stride or give any indicators a break is coming, all right, don't just bleed into your route early. Instead, even if you win to the side you're breaking to, all right, always fight the stack, all right, get in front of this DB and step on his toes, all right. The biggest key right here is you sell vertical, all right, get the DB's hips flipped upfield, all right, threaten him with speed, and then again, get out of the break, all right. So I hope this helped. If it did, make sure you leave a like, comment what you want to see next, subscribe if you're new, follow us on all platforms at Receiver Teacher. Um, make sure you go to ReceiverTeacher.com, sign up for that free program, it will be coming soon. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep dropping the best videos we can. See you next videos. Peace out.